a female's body has to prepare for motherhood every month either of the ovaries rupture to release a ovum which is a female reproductive cell now let us see what happens inside the ovary see the ovum is enclosed in these bag like structures known as the follicles and these follicles are known as primary follicles now nature selects one such primary follicle and under the secretion and control of follicle stimulating hormone a hormone that is secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland the primary follicle grows into a secondary follicle the secondary follicle encloses a fluid now the secondary follicle further matures to form the graafian follicle the follicle which is named after the scientist graaf who first discovered it now after the graafian follicle matures and ripens then it ruptures and the matured ovum is released out of the ovary on the 14th day so this entire maturation process takes about 14 days and on the 14th day the matured ovum is ruptured and released out of the ovary so this process when the walls of the ovary rupture and the matured ovum is given out is known as ovulation now the fimbriae collects the ovum and then the ovum passes through the oviduct and if fertilization takes place in the oviduct then the fertilized ovum comes and gets embedded into the uterine cushion so uterus is the place which has to hold the growing fetus if fertilization takes place in the oviduct so uterus has to be always ready to accept a fertilized egg now how does it prepare well the innermost lining of the uterus is known as the endometrium now the endometrium increases in thickness and forms a cushiony structure on which the fertilized ovum can come and embed into and this uh, thickened endometrium lining is maintained by the hormone progesterone now who secretes this hormone known as progesterone well the graafian follicle matures and finally ruptures on the 14th day now the remnant of this graafian follicle is known as the corpus luteum and it is an endocrine tissue and since it is endocrine in nature it releases the hormone progesterone now corpus luteum means a yellow mass corpus means mass and luteum means yellow now corpus luteum secretes progesterone which maintains this endometrium lining see when the progesterone reaches a peak the endometrium lining is also at its peak thickness now the endometrial layer needs to nourish itself and for that it has an abundance supply of blood vessels now what do we require for fertilization well two things are required firstly the egg needs to rupture out of the graafian follicle and secondly the endometrial layer should be thick so that if the egg gets fertilized it can come and embed onto it now both these events happen in about 14th day from the uh, primary follicles being selected for that month or uh, from the beginning of the cycle 
so this day is the peak time for fertilization if fertilization fails to take place within 27 to 28 days from the beginning of the menstrual cycle for that month then the corpus luteum degenerates and along with the degeneration of corpus luteum the endometrial layer is also shed now why does this take place well this is because corpus luteum secretes progesterone see when the progesterone forms a peak level then the endometrial layer is also its thickest so now after 27 to 28 days if fertilization does not take place the corpus luteum degenerates and the level of progesterone in the body automatically decreases and so the endometrial layer is not maintained anymore and is finally shed so the endometrial lining ruptures along with it the blood vessels rupture and gets discharged from the body now along with the endometrial lining the unfertilized egg also gets discharged out of the body so the series of changes in the endometrium of a non pregnant female that prepares it to receive a fertilized egg is known as the menstrual cycle and the menstrual cycle lasts for about 27 to 28 days before another cycle begins the onset of menstruation in a young female of about 13 years of age is known as menarche men comes from menstrual flow and arc is the beginning so these are the different phases of the menstrual cycle the first 3 to 5 days of the menstrual cycle is known as the menstrual phase it is characterized by the discharge of the endometrial lining if fertilization does not take place now after that from the 5th day to the 13th day there is follicular phase that goes on what happens during the follicular phase well primary follicles under the supervision of follicle stimulating hormone matures to form the secondary follicles the secondary follicles further mature to form graafian follicle and the graafian follicle finally ripens and matures by the 14th day and on the 14th day the graafian follicle ruptures to release the matured ovum so on the 14th day ovulation takes place see the ovary releases the matured ovum now after that starts the luteal phase that goes on for the next 13 to 14 days what happens in the luteal phase well after the graafian follicle ruptures the remnant of the graafian follicle forms the corpus luteum and the corpus luteum is a tissue which is endocrine in nature and releases a hormone known as progesterone this progesterone maintains the endometrial lining and uh, helps a female's body to host a fertilized egg if fertilization takes place now if fertilization does not take place by the 27th or the 28th day then the corpus luteum starts to degenerate now if the corpus luteum starts to degenerate then progesterone the amount of progesterone in the body will also decrease as a result of which the endometrial lining is discharged from the body which is again it gets back to the menstrual phase see blood loss takes place once again 
if fertilization does not take place within 27 to 28 days. Now menstruation stops during pregnancy. Why is that? Well, menstruation is the discharge of the unfertilized egg along with the endometrial lining. Now if a female gets fertilized or if the female reproductive cell which is the ovum gets fertilized by a male reproductive cell known as the sperm in the oviduct then this fertilized ovum gets uh, attached to the endometrial lining in the uterus and that is why the endometrial lining is not shed it is maintained throughout the pregnancy of a female. The permanent stoppage of menstruation at about 45 years of age is known as menopause. Meno comes from the word menstruation and pause means to stop. 